My name is Mark Vahanian and I'm a peak performance expert. Over 25 years, I've delivered over 30,000 coaching sessions. They have this moment of surprise and they discover that they can do something they truly believe they could not do. How can you bring your skills to the table? How can you be of service right now? Bring in your A game. Accountability, authentic leadership, and creativity. So why is mood so important? Why is that the first principle around leadership that I'm even talking about? Because that affects the message. You bet. It's the first thing people pick up. Look at your kids. Who do they talk to when they want something? Right? They go to who's ever in the better mood. <laughs> Everybody gets butterflies. The challenge is to get all them butterflies flying in formation. <laughs> it's perfect, right? That's a, a funny story, and it obviously is because everybody can relate. Everybody in this room is already enough. You're already good enough to do a good job. If you can remember it, it will make a huge difference. It'll be a weight off your shoulders so that you can get on with looking after people and get your attention off yourself. You gotta answer it once and for all. When we ask the question, am I good enough? First of all, it's a ludicrous question. How many hours of work have you already done? Thousands of hours. You're good enough. Could you get better? Everybody could. Michael Jordan was still working on his free throw. If you are not excited in this moment, when you walk in the door, they are either, no matter how smart the stuff is you're saying, no matter how important, we can't hear it because you're not getting through to their nervous system. When your attention and intention is about that commitment to contribute, that's where your focus is and you're going to participate more in meetings. Because your attention's over there. How can I make a difference over there? How can I make a difference here? We need to tell our story. It's how we make sense of the world for each other, for our kids. What do we say at night? We say, hey, Michael, here's what we did today. Here's what we're doing tomorrow. Right? My son's five. He wants to know. What are we doing tomorrow? Yeah, and then what? He goes, and then what? Okay, but after school, then what? And do I get to see my friends? You know, and, and, and if something happens and they, they're falling apart, right? They're scared. Our job is to help make sense of the world for them. And that is a huge part of what you do as leaders is to have a clarity of vision that you communicate with passion the story about who we are, what we're doing, where we're going and why.